Okay, so our problem is that we have to make 80 separate alarms that are listed in this process control narrative. And as you might suspect, normally that would take all day long. So I have my alarm block add-on instruction already made and imported. Normally I'd have to go up to controller tags and whatever I want. Make it the data type of alarm block one. We need 80 elements. Okay, save that. Now we can go back here and insert that alarm block one. And of course, we want good comments, so copy and paste and we'd have to do that 80 separate times. So instead we're going to take a big shortcut, double click on the side, we see the structured text, we'll copy that, we're going to paste it to Excel. The normal Excel trick to increment this number won't work, so instead we're going to have to cut out the end portion, it's just the zero is there, and now you'll notice that it's working go down to 79. Okay. So now we make a formula and sign the rest of the text that we need and boom we have it back in the format that we need. So we can drag and drop that all the way down and you see that we have all of the tags that we need. We copy it because right now it's in this formula format we're going to paste it over here, but we're pasting only the values. Okay, you see that? So now, what we have to do is we have to add in the SOR and the EOR. So that's start wrong and end wrong. all the way down, okay, so now we'll copy all of this into a blank word document, see there, so we need to format it correctly, Oop. sorry you have to paste just the text only, now we'll highlight everything, Find and replace. Uh, power sign W is for the spaces. We'll replace that with a single space. Okay. So now you see our formatting. Now we're going to also replace all of the returned, uh, the carriage returns with a single space. So now you see this is what we have. So I'm going to copy this and paste. And now we should get all 80 alarms. Boom. Just like that. All the way up. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to import and export the descriptions so we can save time and uh, just copy and paste these descriptions so we don't have to we don't have to do them individually. So that'll be the next video.